I believe that this is the greatest country in the world, but uh, it doesn't mean that the greatest country in the world shouldn't stop and take a good look in the mirror uh, at who they are and uh, the history that they've left behind. Tom Wilson, who is a well-known musician, is preparing to have his best-selling memoir, Beautiful Scars, play on the big screen at the Hot Docs Canadian International Documentary Festival. When we talk about our own identity, it's something that a lot of us take for granted. The film highlights the Hamilton man's life and his journey to uncover his true identity as a Mohawk man. Well, I only found out about uh, my adoption eight years ago. I was like 54, 54 years old when I found out that uh, my mom and dad weren't my mom and dad. And my actual mother was uh, the woman who acted as my cousin my entire life. And that I wasn't a puffy, sweaty Irish guy like I thought I was. I was actually a Mohawk. We always knew that Grandma Bunny was not Tom's mother. This is a story about identity. This is the story of a young Indigenous woman taken off the reserve, forced to give birth uh, to me. She gave birth to me. She didn't even see me. She just, I was wrapped up and taken away from her the instant I was born. Beautiful Scars was filmed for the most part in Hamilton, and Wilson credits two-time Canadian Screen Award nominated Métis director Shane Belcour for helping to put this film together and helping with interviews that featured his biological family. Wilson says his goal now is to bring awareness to his Mohawk culture. I'm 62 years old now. I have 20 more years, I hope on this planet and in that time uh through my visual art through my music and through the next book that i write for penguin random house i expect to uh to be shining a positive light on the mohawk culture and uh maybe just feeling the blood that runs through me a little greater the film plays today and on Thursday, May 5th at Hot Docs, and you can visit its website for ticket information. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.